Leeds International School, Form 3, Science, Third Midterm, Chapter 17, Growth and Puberty. Here are the objectives of today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to name the physical and emotional changes that take place during adolescence and also students will be able to understand how growth, development and behavior can be affected by diet, drugs and diseases. So children, first let's see what is growth. So actually growth can be defined as a gradual development in maturity, age, size, weight or height. So as you know children, a human being goes through different stages of development. Growth begins in the mother's womb and continuous after birth. So children, often height and weight are used as indicators to measure the growth of human being. So the medical officers have used these indicators to prepare a special kind of charts to monitor and compare the growth of children of the same age. So children, we call those special charts as growth charts. This growth chart shows the average height or weight of young children at specific ages. And also children, the height or weight of many children of the same age was gathered and the average of these data was calculated. So children, for a normal girl, growth will occur at a faster rate from the age of 11. And for a normal boy, the growth will occur at a faster rate from the age of 12. That's why sometimes in your classes, the girls are taller than boys. That's because the girls start to grow faster from the age 11 but the boys starts to grow faster from the age 12. And put it, this period of rapid growth and development is known as puberty. Or in other words, puberty is the process of physical changes through which a child's body matures into an adult body capable of sexual reproduction. So during puberty, our growth rate increases and our body also experiences many physical and emotional changes. Same as that, our reproductive organs start to develop and mature. But children, remember, the entire process usually takes about four years. So children, don't you wonder, how does our body know when to increase the growth rate? Or when to start developing our reproductive organs? Do we actually have an internal timer in our body? No, the answer is no. Then children, how does it happen? Or oh, what triggers the puberty? Actually children, puberty is triggered by chemicals which known as hormones. So, a hormone is released from a part of our brain 
to start the development process of puberty. As puberty progresses, the female reproductive organs will start to release hormones known as estrogen and progesterone. The male reproductive organs will release a hormone known as testosterone. That's how our body knows when to speed up our growth rate. Okay, now let's learn about few physical changes of a boy which occur during puberty. The height will increase suddenly and the shoulders will become broader and the voice of a boy will get deeper and public hair will start to appear. Public hair means hair will start to appear on legs, on face, under arms like that and the skin will become oily and pimples may develop on the face and also the testicles will become bigger and will produce sperm cells. Now let's see some physical changes of a girl which occur during puberty. So same as the boys the height of a girl also will increase suddenly and their hip will become broader meanwhile their waist become smaller and in girls also public hair will start to grow that means hair under their arms on the legs between the legs like that and the skin will get oily and the pimples may develop on the face and another thing is the reproductive organ will start to release egg cells which cause menstruation. Not only physical changes, emotional changes also take place during puberty. So children, as there are many physical changes happening during puberty, Many of teenagers may be more conscious about their body parts. So they become more sensitive. And another thing is due to hormonal changes, the teenagers may have mood swings as well as they will experience strong and intense feelings. So children, the growth and development can be affected by few things, namely diet, drugs and diseases. In here, let's see how does our diet affect growth. So during puberty, our body grows at a very fast rate. So the body has a greater need for all types of nutrition at this phase. So because of that children it is very important that we eat well and have a very healthy and balanced diet because if we fail to get enough nutrition in our diet we may suffer from nutritional deficiencies. Do you know children a nutritional deficiency occurs when the body does not absorb or get from food the necessary amount of a nutrition. So there are few critical nutrition which are very essential or important during the growth and development of a child. Vitamin D is one of them. So if a child lacks vitamin D while he or she grows that one will have weak bones and another important nutrition is iron. So you know children iron is required for the body to make 
red blood cells. So children with an iron deficiency may have development delays. Protein is another important nutrition. So as you are very much aware, proteins are required to build muscles that supports our bones. So not having enough proteins may affect muscles and bone development. Another two very important nutrition are carbohydrates and fats. So children, you know, carbohydrates and fats provide our body with energy. So our body requires a lot of energy when it is growing at a very faster rate. So energy is required to make new cells to grow and develop tissues or organs. So without energy, a proper growth and development cannot occur. Now tell me children, do the diseases have an effect on our growth and development? Actually, the answer is yes. There are some diseases which can affect our growth and development such as Tuna syndrome, hypothyroidism, down syndrome these uh, diseases can affect our growth and as well as development so children now let's see how do the drugs affect our body so as you know drugs are substances or chemicals that can change the way our body works there are some drugs which are illegal such as cocaine, heroin, alcohol like that. And there are another type of drugs which the doctors are used to diagnose, to cure and to treat human beings and also the animals. So in here let's discuss about few drugs and their effects so the first one is alcohol so the alcohol the alcohol can affect the brain and also it can affect one's ability to make a sound decision and taking alcohol more and more for a long period can causes liver damage another type of drug is caffeine actually caffeine can increase activity in the brain and meanwhile it also can cause us restlessness and it can affect pregnancy even another type of drug is cocaine actually as you know cocaine is an illegal drug so put there the cocaine damages the brain and also it can stresses the heart and it will cause feelings of restlessness so children, now we have come to the end of today's lesson. So before winding up our lesson, let's summarize what we learned today. So first, we learned about growth and puberty. Then we learned about physical and mental changes which occur during puberty. And at last, we learned how diseases, drugs and diet affect the growth and development. So, thank you and have a nice day.